out there. Thanks for joining us on this week's episode of Ocean Sales TV. In this week's episode, we're going to get into our info series of Live Better. We'll show you how to with the Steam Mop Plus and the Steam Junior. It's Chad with Ocean Sales, and today I'm going to go over how to get the most out of your Steam Mop and Steam Junior, as well as go over a couple of troubleshooting tips. So to get the mop started, all you have to do is plug it into an outlet. As soon as you plug it into the outlet, this little light is going to start blinking. It just shows you that you're plugged in, but you don't have the mop on yet. Now when you're using your Steam Mop at home, you can fill it with any kind of water. Filtered water is great, same with distilled and reverse osmosis. Tap water is fine too, but if you guys are filling this with tap water, I do want you to store it away empty, and I do want you to put a little bit of vinegar, about a tablespoon, through the water once a month. That way we don't get scaled. Water gets filled right in here. You get a little cup to fill it. Once you fill it, plug the mop in. As soon as you plug it in, the blue light's gonna blink. It just means that it's plugged in, but you don't have it on. After about 30 seconds of waiting once you plug it in, hit the little blue light, that turns the mop on, and you'll get steam within 30 seconds. Now to show you how to get the most out of your steam mop. When you're applying the microfiber pad, they're just Velcro, so all you're gonna do is put it on the floor to attach the pad. I do find a lot of people attach the pad before turning the mop on. That's fine, but what I find happens is the mop does spit a bit of moisture to get started. And if your pad's already on, you're gonna start with a wet pad to clean your floor. So I want you guys to hit the blue light and turn the mop on first, wait a couple seconds for it to get steaming, then attach the microfiber pad. Now you'll start with the dry pad and clean a much bigger area before you have to switch the pad away. So a helpful tip for people with hardwood or laminate floors, when you guys are using the mop and you need to take a break, you have to answer the door or answer the phone, I don't want you to leave it on the surface of your floor. I do want you to turn it off with the blue light, but not only turn it off, I do want you to take it up off the surface of the floor. Remember, you have a carpet glider for thick carpets. This works great for a stand, which you can just rest there if you have to go answer the phone. Another great tip with the mop is the handle actually comes out to make this a little smaller. So if you turn this around, right under the clip that holds the cord, you have a button. This button actually releases the handle for the mop. Now you can use it like a handheld. So if you want to scrub your furniture in the living room where the dog likes to run, you can take it across your mattress once a month to kill dust mites and bacteria for anyone with allergies, or even just clean your kitchen countertops if they're marble, arborite, or granite. Now remember, your steam mop can also be used to clean carpet. Now it's not for deep cleaning, but if you guys get just where the heavy traffic areas are, get a little dirty, or if you have a stain, it's great for those small jobs. If the carpet's nice and thin, you'll be able to push it pretty easily with the microfiber pad. If your carpet's a bit plush, like a shag or a berber, you have a bit of a higher pile, you actually get a little carpet glider. And by placing the mop in the glider, it then makes it easy to go back and forth, especially if you have a big area of mop. For a stain in one spot, I want you guys to take the mop off of the glider with the microfiber pad and actually put it directly on the stain. I want you to let it sit there for about 30 seconds and allow the steam to break the stain down. Once you've let it sit there, I then want you to scrub it back and forth in the spot so the microfiber pad can take the stain from the carpet and transfer it onto the pad. So now we're going to talk about maintenance with your Steam Mop Plus to make sure you get lots of euros out of it. When you're storing the mop, we do prefer if you store it empty. That way you're not getting scaling with minerals in your tap water years down the road. And there's two ways to empty it. You can open it and empty it right into the sink, or you guys can clean till you're out of steam, and that way you can store it empty every single time. So here's a few key tips when you're washing your microfiber pads. Wash them in the washing machine. Regular wash is fine, doesn't matter the temperature of the water. But the two things you want to make sure is you don't wash it with fabric softener and you don't wash it with bleach. The fabric softener won't wreck the pad, but the next time you go to use the microfiber pad on your floor, you will get streaks from the fabric softener. Putting them in the dryer is fine, they'll last you about a year. If you hang them to dry, they will last you longer, about an extra six months. The only thing when you put them in the dryer is no dryer sheets. Again, we're trying to eliminate fabric softener. 
And if you happen to bleach them or anything like that, you can always go onto our website, oceansales.ca, or see us at the trade show for another package. So the Steam Mop Plus is one of the best mops on the market, and it's why Ocean Sales has been selling it for more than 10 years. Not much goes wrong with this mop, but on occasion, we have heard of the following challenge. So when you're steaming, sometimes when you turn it on, you'll get the noise like it's trying to make steam, but no steam will be coming out. We can fix that. What I want you to do is to take it into a bathroom with a bathtub. I want the bathtub to be empty, okay? I want you to fill it up with water, but I do want you to add a quarter cup of white vinegar. I want you to plug it in, wait the 30 seconds with the blinking blue light, and then turn it on. It's going to start to make the noise, but you're not going to get any steam. I then want you to take it over to the empty bathtub and give it a few light bangs on the floor. That is going to knock out some of the sediment that's built up in your mop, and the steam mop will start to steam slowly. Now I just want you to let it sit in the empty bathtub and steam away until it's empty. That vinegar will clean the hose inside the mop and get your mop steaming all the way. So now to get the most out of your Smart Living Steam Junior. So to open up, the lid works like a pill bottle. Okay, I want you to push down and open. And this will allow you to take the cap off. You get a little cup to fill them. The instruction manual says to add one cup. Personally, from using this for years, I find it's always best to add two. You get more pressure, you get a bit more hot steam. To close it when you're done, all you're going to do is screw it on until it goes all the way down to the bottom and spins. And then again, I want you to push down and turn. And that's going to lock it shut so you can't open it anymore. When this is plugged in and under pressure, you will not be able to open the lid, even if you push and turn. It's a safety feature for your protection. To open it, it needs to be fully unplugged, as well as the pressure being released out of here. Then you will be able to push and turn to get the lid off. Now, a lot of the time when I use this, I don't use any attachments. I take this into the bathroom with no attachments and start blasting down like the caulking around the bathtub, the grout in the shower, could be the sink or countertops. But it also does come with six attachments to make your job a little easier. The first attachment is the extension arm. This just gives you a little bit more flexibility. So this is great if you need to get behind the toilet, around the corner, if the guys are taking it out to do the engine in the car to get around all the little pieces in there. There is also a scrub brush attachment. This one I find is very handy to, for anything to do with grease. So if you're doing anything from a stovetop burner to inside the oven door along the frame, we all know it never cleans along the frame for the self-cleaning ovens. Take it outside and use it on the barbecue. I use this on my tools. It's great for any type of degreasing or scrubbing you might need to do. There's also a little angle attachment and I find this is just really handy for toilets because it'll actually shoot the steam straight up so you can get under the rim. Or these little attachments I just added to the Junior, you can actually put on the end of the extension hose. And again, this just gives you a little bit of flexibility getting around the toilets in the bathroom. The other attachment you get, and the one that is a big favorite, is the garden steaming attachment. This one will actually take the wrinkles out of your clothes for garment steaming and you even use it on Venetian blinds and drapes. If you take the cloth off of the garment steaming attachment, you also get a little squeegee attachment. And this is just really handy if you're ever doing a window, a mirror, a shower door, or a coffee table. It's a great way to clean without chemicals and while avoiding storms. I hope you've enjoyed our tutorial to get the most out of your Steam Mop Plus and your Steam Junior. Thanks for watching us on Ocean Sales TV on Live Better. We'll show you how to Thanks for joining us on this week's episode of Ocean Sales TV. Live Better will show you how to will happen weekly as we continue our info series right here on Ocean Sales TV.